Hello, everybody. Hello. Um, this is the second Rocket Community Sync Meetup. And there is a um, Google Doc where you can join um, on white occasions. Um, and I can talk a bit about the release. Uh, since a month or two, we start to do a release every two weeks, on average. And we had one early December and another one uh, toward the end of December. And there will be another one this week. Um, we start to have more people contributing. I think there is, um, according to GitHub, um, 17 authors, um, 128 commits, and a lot of uh, file being uh, modified. Um, I prepared a couple of demos, uh, but if you want to um, talk about something else, uh, you can add it to the Google Doc. Um, I'm just getting a look uh, at the Google Doc if someone added something. Can everybody hear fine, by the way? OK, good. So I will uh, talk about uh, uh, C Group Unified ERP first. Um, but before that, what is uh, the current state? The current state is uh, uh, non unified ERP on Linux. And it means, uh, as you can see on this terminal, um, there is one. Um, C group mount per controller, and you can see in slash sys fs C group um, the list um, of mounts, and it makes um, quite a bit complex on uh, limiting for containers. And in Linux, we are going uh, towards um, unified hierarchy, and the, that new way of doing C groups will have a single um, mount in slash sys fs C group. And all the controllers will be here. Um, Unified hierarchy was not uh, considered stable until now. It was uh, available when mounting with a double flag. But in the next Linux release, 4.4, coming up uh, this weekend, there will be a new uh, file system type, Cgroup2, which is the Unified hierarchy. It will not require any devel flag anymore. The devel flag doesn't exist, will not exist anymore. And there is already code in systemd and systemd and spawn to support uh, that. Um, it will be merged soon, as soon as Linux 4.4 is released. Uh, but you can already try it with the boot option uh, systemd unified cgroup hierarchy equals one. And we are working on uh, Rocket to make it available as well. So that's um, what I, be, I will demo now. Uh, I will show you my terminal. Um, OK, can people see my terminal? OK. Um, here, I have a system uh, boot up on um, Linux 4.4, almost the release. Um, so it has the Cgroup Unified hierarchy feature. Um, if I look at the list of commands, I can see that a um, system of type Cgroup2 is mounted in uh, this FS Cgroup. Um, I can see my shell process is in the C group, um, in this C group. And usually in the file slash box slash self slash C group, there is a list of uh, C groups for each controller. And with unified hierarchy, we only have one, uh, started with zero semicolon, semicolon like this. And that's um, the C group I am in. Um, you can add all at this 
FFS at the group. Before it was one directory uh, for each controller, and now it's mounted directly there. And since I am in the C group uh, user slice, um, I can explore things there. Um, and then all the memory controllers are um, usable directly from that unified C group with the memory controller, the PITS controller, etc. So my demo um, will be about um, first starting uh, rocket. Um, I'm starting a shell in rocket, and um, I will just show you which C group I am in at the moment. And as before, uh, there is only one line for unified hierarchy, starting with zero, semicolon, semicolon, on the path in there. So to make that work, it requires some um, work in systemd and systemd and spawn to be able to use the new file system type um, cgroup2 and some work in rocket uh, because rocket used to um, mount the cgroups for the container and it um, used to assume that we are not using uh, the unified hierarchy and um, yeah, go work on that to uh, make it work so uh, this is not um, Rocket upstream is not merged yet, but uh, I'm using a patch from Yago. Um, so here I am in, inside the container, and I can um, I can go to sysfs group, and um, and here I can see uh, the sub C group for the machine for the and inside there, um, other um, C groups for the container. So, um, that's it for um, the demo about unified um, hierarchy. Um, Yago, do you want to say something else? Or? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm saying that with the new unified hierarchy, the container is responsible for the C group, so it has us read writes of C group. So that's very convenient for us because we use the inside the container to manage the C groups there. Yeah, just just that. So we don't have to do weird things like mount ourselves the C groups like we did before and then remount certain files read write. So now everything should work fine, but still some work to do. I am having a look at the um, Google Doc to see if uh, people want to talk about something else. Otherwise, I will continue on the next uh, demo. So the next thing um, I wanted to talk about is about C group namespace. Um, on this slide, you can see here uh, that um, the command was executed from inside the controller. And you can see in slash box self C group the path of um, C groups. And from inside the container, the container has some information about the C group path uh, on the host. Like, uh, the container has been started from slash machine machine dot slash sorry slash machine dot slice slash machine rocket etc. So there are some information leaking uh, from the host inside the container. That's not too bad because the uh, that most of that file system was mounted read only by a, a system being spawn on rocket. Uh, but still, it would be nice to hide more things, uh, and that's uh, useful when uh, the container is executing uh, things like systemd because we need to have uh, C groups inside the container. 
And for that, there is a feature being developed called uh, cgroup namespace. It's not in the Linux, Linux kernel yet. Uh, it will not be in the next release of 4.4, but it will probably be in the next next release, Linux uh, 4.5, um, in a couple of months, I guess. Um, so uh, I tried this patch, and I will uh, show you how it looks like. OK, so now I, um, I am in still um, on a system with a recent uh, kernel. But I applied the patch for uh, cgroup namespace on top of that. And um, so the, um, the code for rocket uh, is not ready, but I'm just uh, going to show it with system gain spawn. And here I'm starting a system gain spawn container uh, in a Fedora uh, root tree. And I'm starting that. I am inside a uh, end fun container and I'm showing um, this. So that's the statue code. Now it, we don't have, a, it was a um, demo without Segum uh, space, so we see the full path. And, uh, but I will do the demo again with Segum space and we will uh, hopefully not see. So for the demo, I will uh, I have some patch on SimSim and spawn, which take into account this environment variable uh, to enable C group namespace. So when I do that, the same um, container again inside. When I look at fork uh, self C group. Uh, we don't see any more machine.slice. We see uh, the last uh, part of the path. So to um, oops, yeah, that's the more effect. I, I don't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm, uh, I quit the end spawn container. I will start. We do the demo in a screen. So I'm starting my container again. So what I did is um, I am in the Enspawn container. I see that. Uh, thanks to uh, the space, I'm not in a machine that slice. It's uh, and I'm running the process sleep for a long time, and I'm going out of the screen. Uh, and now I can look at all the process. And I can see uh, the sleep process running inside the container, and I want to see the C group of this. So when I look at it from the host, I see that the container process is inside machine.slash, etc. But when I look at it from inside the container, I don't see this prefix. I only see the last part of it. So C group namespace allow the container to um, virtualize kind of um, the C groups on the C group. The container doesn't have the full view of the C group tree, but only a subtree of it. So that's um, the end of this. Cool. cool. Um, you have a question or something you want to talk about now? So this patch for system D is in a pull request right now, right? The C group namespace thing. Uh, yes, it needs to be 
worked on again because um, uh, systemd do, uh, doesn't want to apply patch for future kernel release that are not um, released yet. So when when a Linux kernel will be released uh, version 4.4 4.5 with that feature, then uh, the patch for systemd will be accepted, but not before. So there are some patch in pull request uh, on GitHub for systemd, but uh, they will not be merged before um, the feature is merged in the kernel. Um, okay. Okay. Sorry, I wanted to go back to uh, the slides. Um, I'm a bit lost in Google Hangout. Okay, so um, we can do a, another community sync um, in two weeks if you would like. Uh, you can write um, more ideas what to talk about on the agenda on the Google Doc. Um, otherwise, uh, Stefan, Elifan, uh, John, do you want to say something else? There I go, anyone? Yeah, sounds good. It's been a bit of a quiet period, so I think we'll have more to talk about soon. Um, can you say again? I did not hear. It's just that it's been a bit of a quiet period with most people over the holidays, so I think we'll have more to talk about at the next sync. Right. Yes, um, it makes sense on the Google Plus page. Um, there is just a couple of people um, seeing it. Okay. Um, so that's it for today. Unless you want to say something else. Oh, seems good to me. Yep, still catching up with all the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, thanks. Uh, I have a question, actually. Yes. So, uh, so like, uh, are we like doing the community sync, like instead of the our internal team sync from now? So we are doing this kind of uh, canals broadcasting now, right? Yes, it's broadcasting on um, on YouTube. On okay. Available now. On uh, Most rocket yeah, development discussion. Okay, rocket so development discussion happens in the open. Okay, keep doing it in the open ones. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Alvin. Yeah. Thanks.